All right. <laughs> All right. Questions. This is the fun part, sir. Were you able to determine how many members of the Society of the Cincinnati served as delegates, and generally on what side of the debate they fell? Oh, uh, I haven't counted, but I can tell you what side of the debate they were on. The side, the, the Cincinnati, and I think the officers of the the ex officers of the Continental and Ar Army in general were strong nationalists. Uh, I think they were a Federalist through and through. In fact, they had to be a little careful, uh, you know. Although, actually, I talk about the Society of the Cincinnati and Washington's. Uh, somewhat complicated relationship with it uh, in, the, in 1786, 1787 uh, in the prologue to the book, but it is very clear. The people he's writing about are strong supporters of the Constitution, and many of his correspondents uh, were fellow officers of the Continental Army and members of the Society of the Cincinnati. But I leave it to you to do the do the math. See how many of your members are. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs>